feels great to win. Uh, I, I thought it was a reflection of our, our last eight days. Uh, we, we really needed that stretch of practice time. I thought our guys have really worked hard uh, and, and made a lot of strides, uh, both offensively and defensively. Uh, you saw we made some changes from a rotation standpoint. Uh, I, I thought our guys really at the defensive end of the floor set the, the tone of the game uh, to hold them a 33% from the floor uh, and 20% from three and both the first and second half was, was critical for us. And I uh, really loved our unselfishness to, to have 22 assists uh, is a big step forward for us and to uh, win the turnover battle. 10 in the first half, still way too many. Uh, but we were positive assist to turnover, 22 assists on 16 turnovers. And then we were able to force 18 turnovers, uh, which enabled us to get out and transition and get some easy baskets. So, you know, overall, really proud of our guys for their response, uh, for their work ethic this past week and their unselfishness out on the court today. Uh, and then I guess finally, I would say, you know, not every day you see a guy, I know he didn't shoot as well as normal Cameron Holden, uh, but 11 offensive rebounds, 20 points and, 16 boards for him. So, you know, congratulations uh, to Holden on a terrific performance. What can a win in general do for a team confidence-wise when you've gone through what you guys have been through? Well, I think it's critical, Adam. Uh, like I say, the, the practices over the last eight days have been really good. Uh, and so I was very hopeful that our players would get rewarded with a win. Uh, you know, I think they saw the things that work, you know, really being – solid at the defensive end of the floor, sharing the basketball, executing offensively. Uh, we, had, we had a lot of guys really step forward and make huge contributions to our team. And, you know, hopefully we can start to generate some momentum from that, uh, especially uh, with the stretch we got coming up, you know, four in a row at home, which leads into eight games in 16 days. Uh, so we've got a lot of challenges coming our way. Uh, but, but I know winning sure beats losing any day of the week. You go ahead and yeah. switch up the lineup a little bit um, today. Can you maybe talk about some of uh, the reasoning behind some of those decisions and then how they did? Yeah, I, I think Deontay uh, really earned that opportunity. Uh, just being very honest, in, in late November, early December, he wasn't ready yet. Uh, but, man, he's put in the work. Uh, he's one of the first guys to the gym every morning. Uh, he's really picked up what we're trying to do offensively and defensively. He earned the opportunity. And I think he responded really well. Uh, it's been fantastic the last eight days in practice. That position, uh, that point guard position, and we've been blessed to coach some really good ones. Um, the number one priority for that position is you have to make everyone else around you better. And I thought he did that today. 11 points. I know he'll shoot it better at the free throw line, but nine assists. And I thought he was very good defensively for us. With him playing like that, how much do you feel like that will lead to a little bit more efficiency on the offensive end? Because we did see turnovers, like you said, there were 10 in the first half, but the offense played, I thought, in a better rhythm than you have in a while. Yeah, I, I thought so, Adam. I think that's a good point. It usually starts with the point guard position, um, but you know, everyone's been guilty. It hadn't just been one spot. The key for us is no one had more than two today. Uh, now, we had a few that, that, that had two. Uh, but we were able to cut those down. And then I thought in the second half, especially uh, when we went through a stretch where we assisted on 10 out of 11 baskets uh, with the 11 one being a breakaway layup. So I thought our execution uh, both against the man and the zone was really good. We were able to get into a rhythm, getting the ball into KJ, who's just so efficient scoring in the post. And I, and I thought that was key for us having that balance. In the battle on bench points also, how – how reassuring is it to know that you have depth where you can count on if you're not getting scoring, say, from starters? Well, Gage, I've said it all along. Uh, you know, we have really good players. Uh, we just haven't been a very good team. Uh, and so I hope this is a step in the right direction uh, toward becoming the team and, and ultimately the, the best team we're capable of being. Uh, but I think Chico Carter's been terrific in practice uh, the last eight days. He's uh, really shooting the ball well. Uh, you know, one of my favorite possessions of the game, we, we pitched one ahead and transitioned to Tevin. He made the extra pass to Chico in the corner for a three uh, to put us up there seven or nine in the first half. Uh, but, but yeah, I thought we got great contributions. Jaquez Kirby, uh, Nick McMullen both came in and, and, and played really well. Uh, so, you know, hopefully it's something we can build on, keep getting better. 
we know we got a really, really good Jacksonville State co uh, team coming to Murray on Thursday. What do you have to do to kind of build on the performance that you had today and keep that consistently going forward? Well, overall, you know, it, I know it's simple, but I keep coming back to the turnovers. Uh, our, our defense, if you go through our first shot defense throughout the season, it's been really good. Overall, our defense has been very good. Uh, but when you're turning the ball over, not only do you get a chance, uh, you don't get a chance to score, but it's led to a lot of one-on-one -on -one breakaway dunks, two-on-one -on -one layups and transition. Uh, so I think that's something we'll have to keep working on to get better at. But, you know, overall, uh, you know, was really pleased with the unselfishness that we saw on the floor today, the uh, attention to detail, execution, and then the effort at the defensive end of the floor. And we just have to continue to build on those and keep getting better. My last thing, Coach, is you talked about uh, the, I guess, 10 assists on the first 11 shots in the, in the start of the second half. How much is that kind of what you thought this team might be capable of heading into this season and how much you kind of, now that you've seen it, you expect it going forward? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I've been very open, um, you know, about our disappointment with how we started the season. Uh, but there's nothing we can do about that now. We're, we're all looking forward. Uh, I was really pleased with the maturity of our players uh, over the last eight days in practice. Uh, we don't have time to, no one's going to feel sorry for you. So I thought we stayed focused on getting better. We still got a long way to go. I mean, you're not going to hear me calling for Gonzaga. You know, we, we, we've got a, a lot of getting better to do here. Uh, but certainly uh, I am thrilled with the win. I'm thrilled with the way our guys played. And I know they enjoyed the win, but they enjoyed playing together. And that's how it should be, and that's how it should look every time you take the floor. You're not always going to play well, uh, but, but you should be playing with relentless effort and unselfishness for 40 minutes if you put a Murray State jersey on.